All right, welcome back to the Food Service Distribution Podcast. Today is a quick market update episode uh, regarding the price of tomatoes. So I am your host, David Layton. Today is the 15th of May, 2020, and we're going to jump into this with three reasons why the price of tomatoes is increasing right now. You may not have seen it yet, but uh, by next week or the following week, you should see a reflection of all the changes happening south of the border and in the southern half of the United States. Um, You should see that on your invoice. So uh, this time of year, it's fairly normal to have a decrease in the supply uh, and a slight increase in price of tomatoes, uh, no matter where you are in North America, because we are seeing um, a supply gap situation as tomatoes are going from one growing area to another. Uh, due to, so this is, uh, this is reason number one, due to the coronavirus and the lack of, or, um, a crunch on the supply side of labor, we have seen farmers in North America unable to keep up with pickings. Now, the reason this is such a big problem is once you are unable to keep up with pickings or keep up with the demand of uh, actually physically picking the product, that is going to affect the whole plant losing future picks. And that's going to only um, escalate the issue or give it a compounding effect uh, causing you know, your, your next crop uh, to suffer from uh, similar issues as well. So you lose the whole plant. Uh, it's, a, it's a big problem. Uh, farmers have lost thousands. Uh, individual farmers have lost thousands of acres of crop um, uh, across the United States and North America as a whole. I would assume tens of thousands of acres um, have not seen a statistic on it, but it is has been reported from multiple tomato growers and uh, tomato, tomato growers and tomato vendors. So that's reason number one. Uh, Reason number two, I talked about this in a previous video in February about the price of tomatoes. Um, We still are seeing a situation at the U.S.-Mexico border where the USDA is checking crops coming into the United States, and if they do not meet the specs, USDA specs, they're turning them around. So a lot of farmers in Mexico have opted out of bringing their tomatoes up over the border into the United States, and they're opting to just sell them locally in Mexico. Um, different parts of the year, uh, in the winter especially, and in some of the in-between seasons, we cho- uh, we as uh, American suppliers and uh, distributors, we choose to uh, source our tomatoes from Mexico. And uh, without having a- as much of an option of getting those Mexican tomatoes, we have to depend on um, California and Florida and the places in the United States where Uh, these tomatoes are being grown. And with the first issue of the labor and COVID um, compounding with the second issue of needing to find tomatoes locally, uh, of course, price is going to be higher. So supply is down, demand is slightly growing coming back into the summer months, and that's going to cause a sharp increase in the price. Uh, Number three is the Florida growing. Uh, We had two major growers in Florida that opted out of growing tomatoes uh, entirely, that opted into a different crop. Um, That was over the winter region or over the the winter season, but we also see this in this gap, um, uh, gap time where we would depend uh, somewhat a a smaller portion of the crop on tomatoes being grown in Florida. Uh, We do not have that as an option, right? So They have less supply, Uh, they meaning Florida, has less supply than they have in previous years, um, pretty significantly. And uh, we, I mean, this is also entering a normal uh, traditional gap period between Palmetto and uh, Quincy in the next couple of weeks. So we're we're seeing this gap where we're moving from one place to another and all of these other um, issues with, uh, you know, Florida growers not growing, um, COVID causing less labor, and then restrictions on the U.S. border. Those three things have uh, compounded this issue. So what does that mean for you? Um, We are expecting about a 40% increase, okay? So 40% increase could be a little bit higher even um, going into next week, as early as next week, and that could last for several weeks, potentially several months until uh, more supply comes back into the market. So what you can uh, expect is uh, one of two things. Uh, So first, what what you can do is talk to your distributor or talk to your vendor, talk to your grower, talk to whoever is your supplier of tomatoes and see, A, uh, if they know what that increase is going to be. 
um, and B, if they have an alternative. So if you're getting uh, layer tomatoes, vine tomatoes, you could probably switch to aroma depending on the application. Um, same goes for other varieties of tomatoes. There's always going to be a, um, a less expensive version unless you're already using those, uh, you know, chopper, uh, uh, sorry, Roma tomatoes um, that, you know, you're, you're, you're dicing up for salsa or salads or, or whatnot. So those are a couple of things that you can think about. Uh, talk to whoever your supplier is and see what their ideas are, but expect, unfortunately, a significant sharp increase uh, over the coming weeks and, like I said, potentially into the coming months. All right, so that was a quick rundown. That's the update on the tomato market. I hope that you are um, figuring out creative ways to get through all of this and that your restaurant or your uh, company as a distributor is doing well, um, getting through this, finding creative solutions and finding a little bit of time to uh, show your customers you appreciate them, that you're working with them and also taking time for yourself to get outside like what I am about to do. Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. See you guys next time. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Food Service Pod and check out this video here and subscribe here and do that whole piece. Have a great weekend. Bye bye.